I'm working on one of the accessible workstations here in uh, Campville. Joining me once again, CEO of the North Grenville Public Library, Sue Higgins. Sue, I've never seen a mouse quite like this one. <laughs> what type of person is this meant for? Well, these are our accessible workstations. Um, so they're good for people with any kind of physical disability, uh, vision problems. You can see the keyboard mm -hmm. is um, the black on yellow. The mouse is a little bit easier to handle mm -hmm. uh, than a regular mouse. And as well, we have a number of pieces of software on here. Um, for magnification mm -hmm. and also for people with learning disabilities okay. so uh, and also the workstations will go up and down mm -hmm. so people in a scooter could easily fit at the desk mm -hmm. and, and how did you identify that that offering these these different features was so important um, it's part of the uh, AODA the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act mm -hmm. that we start to provide this we also have uh, books with large print mm -hmm. audio books so a wide range of, uh, of resources for people with disabilities. So the doors officially opened here at the new library in May of 2011, yeah. right? And for people who may have missed our conversation earlier, originally you had three different branches around That's Grenville? Right. three small branches, and uh, we merged all of those three into this building. Mm -hmm. And this new building is 10,000 10, square, square feet. feet. We have 22 um, computers for the public to use. Mm -hmm. And uh, as well, we have free Wi-Fi throughout the building. And I think one of the best things about the North Granville Public Library, how much is a membership? Free. <laughs> yes. If you're a resident of North Grenville or you work in North Grenville, you can get a res uh, membership for free. Mm -hmm. And you have, I mean, how many, this might be an impossible question to answer, how many books do you have? We have about 35,000 books and then plus a number of uh, electronic resources as well. Mm -hmm. so. so if you have the, the Kobo or the Kindle? If you have a Kobo, not the Kindle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Only the Kobo. But the Kobo, the Sony and several others, you can download uh, e-books free yeah. of charge. And then once the time limited is up, you said that the books disappear? The books disappear from your device. <laughs> okay. What section are we looking at here? This is the children's section. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great space, lots of room for people to uh, relax. Uh, we have literacy computers here for the children <sighs> that have um, games in both English and French, mm -hmm. all learning games. Um, we've got tables they can work at. They've got interactive play. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And this morning, right through the doors over here, there's a program going on for That's children. That's correct. Which program is it? It's called Sarah's Corner. Mm -hmm. um, our children's area is called uh, Sarah's Corner. It's named after uh, Sarah Badgley, who uh, died at three years old. And her parents, she loved coming to the library. Her parents wanted money to go to the library. Mm -hmm. And so um, we call the children's area Sarah's Corner and uh, our preschool literacy program is Sarah's Circle okay. which is a um, we offer it four times a week uh, we have waiting lists for it it's so popular okay. and Sarah's Circle is only one of the many programs that they have here That's at the library right. so a little bit later in the show I think we're going to pop in and uh, chat with what? Sue Bergeron, okay. who's known affectionately in uh, the community as Library Sue. Okay, perfect. Stay with us. I'll come later from Kentville.